G'day mate, welcome back to Final Upgrade with me, Jetty, and we're pretty much where we left off last episode. We're just in the process of slowly getting an iron ingot, um, an iron ingot space station, yeah, an iron ingot space station up and running. So, the plan is to be able to ship our iron from here to here, which we can do straight away, and that should give us some iron ingots. Which we can then ship to here to sell them, here to sell them, here to sell them, here to sell them, and here to sell them to make more money because that's the important things in life. Now, um, of course, these are pre-made space stations, okay? These are pre-made, they're pre-blueprinted, they're pre-everything. Um, actually, we'll turn that back on. Um, so yeah, they're pre-made, okay? Now, I think the really important thing when it comes to final upgrade is starting to play with and build your own space station so that's really really what i want to do i want to basically have a oh there we go and all in straight to i don't know processed or right being i don't know in the factorio terms plate and then go straight to ingots all in one space station okay that's it that's the plan that's the idea that's what i'd like to work on today so what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna hang on where is plenty of iron ore there so we're gonna come to whatever this planet is and we're going to go to the build menu i'm gonna make a brand new space station okay so i want a uh, so we're going to call this uh, or or to ingot, and we need to get some basics. Okay, first off, ooh. okay. Actually, I manage self destruct. Yes, go away. All right, we're going to go into the blueprint section. Yeah, because that seems like the best place to start. We're going to stations. We are going to go with none of these. Nope, that's an ore station. Now it's going to take me longer to, longer to delete everything than it is to uh, new station. Uh, or to ingot. I forgot name. Okay. Uh, all right. First things first. We need to make sure it's all built of iron. Okay. That's going to be critically important. Because if it's not built of iron, I can't, I can't build it. Because we don't have access to any other materials at this stage. So, first thing is, we're going to need batteries. Okay, just the level 1 batteries. Because level 1 batteries are, as you can see, made out of iron. On top of that, I want to have a couple of features when it comes to this station. Uh, if we have robots, which we have on our construction ship, we can use robots to make things okay so we can have robots straight here in our little space station and we can use them to make whatever we want as in uh that's not the button i wanted game uh as in make other spaceships etc so if i have uh this particular station it's gonna have lots of raw resources i'd like to, it to also have the ability to use construction bots to then build more spaceships at this station all right, uh, next thing we're gonna want is we're gonna wanna hatch. I wanna have a hatch here at the top to let our robots out, here at the bottom to let our robots out. And that's pretty much it for the basics of the station. Now I just need to have, you know, a certain amount of space left and right. We'll start with that. So I wanna have machines. I wanna have a extractor. Uh, we'll go with two. And the idea of this is it's going to bring in iron. And you can do the same. So they're going to bring in iron and they're going to poop out iron plates. Now, I need to have a couple of basics here. So I need to have these phono tubes uh, here. And the idea is any resources that come in the top can fall into this machine. And then I want them to be able to go into the top of the machine. And no, we need those. I need those. We're going to have that not go that way. And... Uh, yeah, let's do a... So, they can come out of the machine. And then... Oh, I want to go that direction. Yes, yeah, so they can come 
in from above into this machine and then out the bottom to fall into another gathering area. And then we're gonna go straight to a stamper, like so, with another bunch of tubes, which we're gonna allow access into this building. Then, why does it remove my tubes? Uh, okay, we need more ground. There we go. Uh, delete, remove that. Uh, tubes. Uh, in. And you're not allowed to go that way. And you're an out. So that's the basic plan. Uh, now I can make these, as you can see, I can make the wall segments out of all sorts of different materials. I only have access to iron currently. And I can make a wall segment level one. So, oh, I can't change the angle of view. Okay, so you can see that's a, a, a wall segment. One high, two high, and then three high, okay? The only time you need to, come on, delete. Delete, please delete. There we go. So the only time you need to have a wall segment higher than level one is if you want to catch materials and make sure they don't fall out, which is essentially what I want to do right here. I just want to have a level three, catch the materials before they fall out. So I don't have to worry about materials falling out of the ship. At the same time, we'll put a hatch in here. Uh, hatch lets our little robot friends fly in and out. That's all it does. And on top of that, you can see I have a maximum ship size. So I can only make a ship up to 2,000 tiles in size. And that's what we're going to sort of aim for. Now, uh, does this tell us? Okay, so this is two iron ore for one iron. And then if we go to this one, we can see this is 0 0.0125 iron in for an iron ingot out. So you want to have lots of room for iron ore to come in. So we're going to give that a little bit more room. Then you don't need that much material for the actual iron itself. Uh, you can't go that way. Yes, not much room for the iron ore itself. And then so a somewhat decent room for the iron ingots. Uh, let's give ourselves... Oh, hold down shift to cube the whole thing up. Uh, delete that. We'll put in a hatch from there to wall level three. Remove our hatch again, put that there, remove those walls. And of course, if I have no grounding here, um, things will just fall out of space. I don't get it. I think I press A sometimes and it just zooms out to max view. Okay, so that's basically what we want. Now, for the materials at the top, I actually don't need to do anything to make sure they don't fall out. Um, we will put in a hatch here just to, you know, just, just to keep things equal and, and beautiful and pretty and all that sort of stuff. At the same time, we're going to put in some hatches along this side. We're going to have a whole force field here. So I can have materials along here and then potentially have the robots fly out the left-hand side to build other ships. But after we've got that, we should be able to go from here to here by uh, just selecting and then left control plus C to copy and then... Yeah, it's Q. Okay, so when I press Q, it maxes, it goes out to max view. We want to actually delete all that. Thank you. Uh, delete that as well. Delete, delete. There we go. Then I want to highlight. Uh, copy. And this is how we're going to build our spaceship. We're just going to copy the exact same thing over and over because there's going to be lots of materials okay we've already seen that our our machine here has lots of different options so i want to have lots and lots of different raw resources we can bring in now if we bring up the k for the resource zones and i add in iron ore right there we can then do iron there so we're going 45 iron uh, ore in down to 25 uh, iron iron up to 45 iron ingots. And that there is going to be our space station. Okay, we want to reset you, copy to all. Uh, reset you, copy to all. We're just going to have that one do iron. And that one do iron ingots. That's going to be our space station so far. And we still have room for, what's that, 100 and, 110 tiles. And how big was that? 
way bigger than 110 tiles, wasn't it? All right, what else can we do? That's as far as we can get. Okay, well, in that case, uh, let's go with... Not quite, not quite. All right, you can go away. Yeah, 1950, we're gonna call that there. Uh, hatch, put a hatch on that side. We'll put a hatch down, line things up. Hatch down that side. Technically, we could turn the whole bottom into a hatch, but we'll put some access here for the robots. We'll put an access there, access there, access. Yes, definitely wanted that bit sticking out the bottom. Thanks, thanks, game. Okay, so that's what we're going to call our space ship. Uh, our, our, our spaceship. Uh, actually, we're going to go back to the K resource, resize resource rooms, move that up a notch, and then it's probably going to be easier. <sighs> Okay, so we're going to choose, we're basically choosing a placeholder, glass. Uh, glass in. That's no easier than just doing it later. Okay, uh, we do need to set some options. So this is going to be a demand. So we're going to demand iron ore in, and then we can supply iron, iron out, and we can supply iron ingots out. We do know in the not too distant future, as in just after I've built the station, we're going to add copper, which will be a demand. Uh, we're probably going to do some carbon. We're probably going to do some silicon. We're probably going to do some nickel. And now you see where the power of this station comes up. It can do multiple different resources. Our gold, we'll do some titanium. We'll do some uranium, and then I still have a couple of slots left over for other things. But same time, same time we need to go, you're going to do copper, and you're going to do copper ingots, and so on and so forth. But with that station done, we're going to save that station, uh, and then we can actually run a simulation. So we can actually confirm that this actually works. So in our current iteration, we can see that we're definitely bringing iron in. We're definitely popping out into... Iron or in, into iron, and then into iron ingots. We can also set it to our current tech level, which is this one, which is incredibly slow, or max tech level, which is a little bit faster. But we can also see that obviously, at the speed this machine runs, I could probably support, no, I need multiple of this machine to support one of these, these machines going flat out. So there is room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. So this is going to cost us 18,000 uh, Earth credits, uh, electric credits, whatever it's called. Uh, and at the same time, uh, if we auto build it, so we let Earth build it for us, it's going to cost us 37,000, which is very, very expensive. Uh, so what we want to do is we're going to build this. I'm going to build it out of iron. Now I can change this to copper and this would change anything that's made out of iron here into copper, which is great if you happen to be very, very rich in one resource and very, very poor in another, or you're trying to build some of the better ships that require composite materials and you decided I don't have the tech for that yet. So we're just going to build it out of iron. Yes, um, but we're going to build this. We're going to whack this in this planet. Uh, uh, <sighs> Uh, no, we're not paying Earth for construction. So that's going to be our build. And then we're going to go back to this one. Uh, we're going to jump our little construction ship over here. And before we get started building on that, we're going to build ships. A construction ship T2. Uh, didn't I have a custom one? Custom. Uh... That's my new and improved one. Okay, so we want to go library. We want to go to a construction ship T2. I want to edit it, copy it. Uh, uh, ship T1, yes. Okay, we're going to delete. 
those batteries, those batteries, those batteries, those batteries, and those batteries. And we're going to put in crappy batteries, because we can see up here on the top left hand corner, it down costs all iron rather than iron and gold. It's going to store way less power, but that's okay. It's a construction ship. It's not meant to go far. At the same time, one thing I've noticed, and it's just the inability for robots to get in and out terribly easy. Yeah, I love that sound terribly easy so we're just gonna delete all of that delete all of that go to a hatch change all that over to hatches put down a wall level one segment yeah, fill in the ground at the same time we're gonna remove that jetty out bit and those jetty out bits it technically those you could call armor and technically would make the ship last longer in combat, but it's construction ship. If your construction ships are in combat, then you're obviously doing something wrong. Uh, that looks about right. Okay, and we're gonna go okay, our, our, our resource zones, and it means I can have that be a bit bigger, that be a bit bigger, uh, that be a bit smaller, and that be a bit bigger. Okay, and as you can see, the construction ships are already designed to take in some gold, some iron, some iron, and some titanium co uh, gold composite, which are used for batteries, used for better tier batteries. Um, that's how the construction ships are pretty pre-designed, but we're going to call it there. We're going to click save. We're going to... That's definitely full of iron. Excellent. We're going to build one of them. Uh, no. You, build that. Blueprints. Build. One of them. There. No. Uh, blueprints. Build. One of them. There. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, we're just going to put in a small cut here whilst we build a couple of extra hands to give us a little bit more construction power. At the same time, we'll then start on this station. Uh, speaking of iron really quickly. Uh, nope. We've got plenty of iron left. Sort of. Yeah. Uh, now we do have a whole bunch of tech on top of that. We also have finished a lot of re uh, a lot of um, Contracts, so you know, we've finished iron Ingot to Delta Scoborius the Six the six there you go. I remember my Roman numerals, which gave us 4,000 experience Which if I click that which will level us up next one requires plastic We're not getting into that just yet and this one was iron ingots again another 4,000 experience to Rigel the first and we'll complete that one and away we go so I do have 10 upgrade points oh make that 11 uh, oh you just need iron well if we click the auto route button that should instantly set up the iron to go there to there and oh it's it's back to earth earth wants another delivery of iron excellent okay so Whilst we do this, we're going to go in here, and we have a lot of unlocks that we can do. So the very first thing I want to do is, if we go to map view, we can see this one wants uh, copper ingots. Copper ingots. That one is, uh, I don't know, so we'll worry about that one later. We know these are plastic plates already, so that's another thing that we're going to have to unlock in the future. But right at the moment, I'm going to go to the tech tree, and we're going to unlock copper, copper, copper. Just the tier one. Now, I can upgrade our iron extraction. As you can see, it is taking us 20 seconds to make one iron ore into one iron ingot, okay? And if we get rid of that, we can see, oops, oops. We can see that the, the, these lights indicate how often you're using this particular tech. So I'm using whatever that one, station, nope, 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 hyper jump, hyper jump optimization. So we can see I'm using this one occasionally. But I'm definitely using iron extraction one the most. But I can upgrade the actual extractor. So there are two options. We can either upgrade across this way to individually improve uh, the iron purification technology. Or we can upgrade down this way to upgrade the actual machines to be faster. Catch is they use more power. As we don't have a source for power at the moment... We're going to upgrade this one just a little bit. So we're going to go six, uh, from 20 seconds down to 16 seconds. I'm even going to throw another point there and get us down to 12 seconds. So it's not quite twice as fast, but it's close. Obviously, if I put one into the machines, which we might actually do, uh, we'll put one in the machines. 
We've now gone down a row, so now we're at 9.6 seconds. We are actually twice as fast. Uh, so yeah, and our profit per minute has gone up incredibly because we're obviously making more things faster. So first ship is almost done. As I said, I'm just gonna put in a quick cut here whilst we get a couple of construction ships. Obviously, after this ship's up and running, he can then make one of these other two construction ships. Yep, 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 yep. So it shouldn't take us long. Uh, iron ingots, low energy. That seems like a problem. Mm, have all the energy. Cool. And we're going to jump you over there because we're going to need you a sec. At the moment, everything is still on auto and uh, on manual energy. I haven't automated energy yet because I'd really like to get uh, a way for us to get energy or start producing our own energy. Yes. Yeah. That's going to be probably not this episode probably next episode come on guys you finished one battery really really oh we finished another contract uh i need it. you want oil auto route uh nope map view we want you want the delivery of oil which we have to manually do you can get oil from there we have one ship that can handle that Delivery system, so it should be fine. Uh, construction ship T2 complete. All right, so we want you to build that one, and thanks, and you to build that one. All right, uh, building new miner search, mining routes, claim sector, unlock plastic plate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So lots of things to do. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put in that cut that I've spoken about three times. We're going to get this done. So we've got our four construction ships now. First thing I need to do is I need to top them up with a little bit of energy. And unfortunately, I'm not doing well on the energy front. So we need to go back to Mother Earth and request just a tiny bit more power. Uh, as it goes, another 44,000 Earth credits or energy credits, whatever you want to call them. We're going to jump back to... Where is that station? It's that one, isn't it? I hope. No, no, it's not that one. It's Iron Ingots. That's the one we want. So, we're going to top up that one as well. We might as well top these up completely. Uh, come on. Energy to that one. Top. Oh, you're a bigger ship. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right. So, we're going to start mass construction. You, 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 and you. You didn't take. Hello? Built. There you go. All right. Third time to jump. At uh, same time, we did finish off a oil contract. So we're going to click that one. Uh, we finished off a ink contract. They want circuits. Obviously, we don't have circuits up and running, so we're going to leave that to later. Uh, your completed construction. Your completed construction. Yes. And completed energy trade. Yes. Close, close, close. Construct, close. Close. And iron ingots are low on energy. Uh, yeah, they are. They are. But they're fine. They're all built. Uh, iron is still running. Its batteries are not dead yet. This is now going to become our shop fall. Um, we can't get ingots into this fast enough. So, <coughs> we need another ship. Uh, we're going to blueprints. Uh, I'm going to have a miner. Now, a miner T3 costs iron and gold. Uh, we could just have earth build it yeah we might just have earth build it so we're gonna go here blueprints uh build one of these a giant t3 version yes uh, pay earth for construction oh boy that was expensive and who's out of power now oh you're out of power well you're meant to be out of power we'll top you up 
and then as soon as this area up here gets done we can actually turn this baby on and we can start having it produce iron locally which would be really really handy uh, you're still building we've got a giant space station to build and as you can see with four construction ships it's a whole lot faster now I, I do have a research down here we can use we can do robot building speed we can definitely do this I have to say personal experience that um for the five points it costs it's just not worth it okay it's really not worth it which is a little bit sad uh, you done yet come on everybody's running over here and they're running away there we go all right, we're gonna auto logic ship to mining all routes. Excellent. Uh, we're gonna go back to there. You're done, so we can actually have you go iron ore from there to there. Uh, same with the asteroids. The asteroids actually seem to be pretty handy at uh, clearing out ore reasonably quickly. Uh, so yes, we can see we've now got our very first construction up and running. At the same time, we did want to get copper. Uh, we can send that to a supply and that to a supply as well. Back out to map view, change ourselves over to copper ore. We would like our best deposit being that one or that one. Can be set up. Oh, we've got one over here. That's not ours. Yes, that's not ours. We probably shouldn't use that one. Oh, there's a... Oh, it's also not ours. Well... All right, uh, set this machine to do copper and set this machine to do copper. Uh, at the same time, you might notice our own robots are, well, hang on, let's change you to off. Uh, our own robots are trying to, nope, come on, try again, guys, try again, guys, try again, guys, try again. There we go. Uh, our own robots are trying to help to build our own station. Uh, as long as they can see some iron there, they'll go down, they'll try and grab it, and then they will try and... What is the error message you guys keep coming up with? I, I need another delivery. I need another delivery. I need more iron ore. Hello? Hello? You only have six ships in a sector. No, we just, we really don't have enough miners. There we go. All right, slow the game down. No iron, no iron, no iron, no iron. Iron, grab it. One of them got it. And he's gonna fly his way over here to help build something. One cube, two cube, three cube, four cube, five cube, six cube, oh, 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 seven cube, there you go. All right, now I've got to admit, look, if you zoom in, the graphics are actually really, really good, okay? These poor little robot dudes, they've had some serious time and effort spent on the way they work and and the way their graphics work and yes they do a little bit of a crazy thing every now and then but that's fine okay so we're gonna crank the game speed back up uh as soon as this is finished it is finished we can turn that machine back on at the same time if we go to uh, supply and demand we can see we have much demand for iron ore, but not nearly enough supply. Same with copper currently, so we can definitely see we're short of some mining, 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 mining. Uh, so we're going to go with uh, energy ship. I need, I need somewhere good for construction. So we're going to move all the ships to here, out of the way. You as well. So then we're going to go blueprints. Let's get a minor tier three. Let's edit it so we can actually, ooh, actually, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Tech tree. We only need gold. Where's gold? Okay, so if we get one, two, three, four, five, we could use five points. 
six points. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly unlock, completely sidetracked. Gold extraction. Okay. Uh, which then means if we build one of them, uh, place it right there, minor tier three, no. We can now have you and you, and, oh, and you and you all help. Because we now have this station set up, we can go into here and we can go, okay, we can demand those. Can we process carbon? No. Uh, but we can at least have it on hand. Oh, wrong button. Uh, silicon or yes, uh, demand. Can we process silicon ore with the research I just did? Yes. Uh, can we produce silicon ore into silicon ingots? No. Uh, nickel ore, demand. Uh, can we do nickel? Yes. Uh, so you're obviously gonna be, that's gonna be our nickel ore. And what was the other one? We wanted uh, carbon is gonna go there. Silicon is going to go there. Gold is going to be our next one, which we're going to put here with some gold ingots eventually there. Uh, and I think we actually researched nickel ingots as well. So we don't nope, cancel. Uh, we want to have a demand uh, supply, 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 supply. Uh, we're going to set you up to do gold, please. And uh, you're already doing nickel. You're going to do nickel ingots. We're then going to go to map view. And although we've already got a shortage on miners, we're going to have... Oh, boy. We've only got one spot that does gold. Uh, nickel. Supply. Demand. Well, Why is there a supply and a demand? I think I'd be with something. Nickel or oh, because you're always meant to be set to nickel nickel. That's why. Hey, we have gold showing up. So this is gonna process straight into gold slowly. And that'll give us a cube. And straight away a one of the transport, one of the construction ships picked that up. Picked it up, ran away with it straight away. Unfortunately. We're going to need a bit more than one bit of gold to make six batteries. So, you know, they're going to keep running back and forth constantly to pick up one bit of gold at a time because that's all they, they can happen to get their hands on, which is wasting a little bit of resources. But, you know, it's 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 it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we can then top you up. Yeah, that's enough to get you started. Uh, it's a lot of things. Construction finished. Fine. Construction finished fine. Construction finished fine. Construction finished fine. 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 Uh, we can collect that. And I could set this up, but I'm not going to because I want to have I want to have enough gold so I can actually have ships pre pre built. Some tier two ships being built. Uh, same time, we do want to go to uh, there. And we want to go to copper ingots. Because we did say you wanted ingots and you wanted ingots, so we might as well get some more contracts finished off. Uh, but that, hang on. Nope, we're still powering on. All right, we're going to bring this ship back to here, and we're going to have its batteries top back up again. Uh, yeah, you're a liquid carrier. You have no jobs. Almost, almost. That should do. Uh, yeah, close that. We'll leave that. Iron to ingots. You're not low on energy at all. Shush. You're fine. All right. Yeah, the gold is going to be very slow. Very, very slow. Uh, speaking of things slow, how's our iron? So our iron over here is doing great. We have plenty of iron. 
our ingots over here are doing great. We got plenty of those. Wow, that's a, uh, oh, because they all finished construction at once. Okay, we're gonna set you to auto logic, uh, mining all routes, uh, bring back up our supply and demand. Uh, so carbon ore and silicon ore. Um, obviously I didn't set those up. Uh, silicon ore, I didn't. That asteroid plus that one plus that one. Uh, carbon ore, that asteroid, uh, plus that one, plus that one, plus the, oh, I don't own that one, okay, uh, what else, carbon, silicon, nickel, gold, iron, blah, 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 we've got plenty of ingots, we've got some copper, we've got some nickel, uh, we've got some gold, slowly, uh, Yeah, sub gold slowly. Now in hindsight, in hindsight, because the minimum shipment amount is generally 25, I probably should have made this an extra tile longer. So I probably should have a little bit more than 25 in this slot, uh, which is probably a boo-boo and hopefully won't come back to haunt me. But yes, we have a, our basic multi-construction multi ship up and running. Uh, we're gonna actually, I'll do this before I forget. We're gonna set you to that one and you to that one. Uh, supply, 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 supply. Uh, but I do have room over here for extra types of ore. So if we can see we have a shortage of gold or, okay, okay. We usually we have a shortage of gold or a shortage of titanium or, or whatever it happens to be. I could turn on these extra four, have them do something temporarily, and then turn them off. Um, at the moment, we're just stockpiling uh, nickel ingots, and we obviously don't have the tech to do gold ingots. No. But I think next episode, next episode, we're going to look at this plastic thing that the, that the game keeps pestering me about because we have. Uh, you want plastic, you want plastic, you want fuel. Uh, you're already being supplied. You're being supplied. So we have a couple looking for plastic. Yeah, so that probably wouldn't be a bad idea. On top of that, um, we also need to get to our stage where we can start producing electricity all by ourselves. Because if we can produce our own electricity, it means I can let our little uh, energy ship run around to its heart's content, resupplying all our base or all our ships and not have to worry about it spending all my hard-earned money uh, back on Earth buying in our buying energy to, you know, drop little bits and pieces here, there, and everywhere. Anyway, with all that said, this is where I'm going to end this episode. I do hope you're enjoying uh, enjoying Final Upgrade as much as I am. It, it's, it's, it's a neat little game. And like I said, the dev is still super, super mad, hungry at putting in updates. We've only searched out part of the solar system. There's actually a lot more to explore. And um, they are in the process of adding updates to make the AI a little bit more aggressive AI, which is gonna be a whole new thing because currently the AI is a little bit of a, a pushover. Anyway, with all that said, this is where I'm gonna end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Final Upgrade. Right, bye.